guys welcome you all in the name of Jesus Christ hope you all are doing good to start a week with we are pastor John Ruben from Coimbatore and he's going to teach us what faith is do you practice the word of God have you practiced what faith is are you fixing your eyes on the past experience to know more sit back and listen the word of God the other 167 God bless Shalom welcome to the other 167 a page that gives you resources to keep you engaged, will keep you equipped and will help you through the other 167 hours of the week other than the one hour service on a Sunday morning. Christian life is adventurous life, should be lived by faith. The word faith is commonly misunderstood by Christians. In the Hebrew language, the word faith is Emuna, E M U N A H, which means faithfulness, steadiness, trustworthiness. The root word for Emuna is Amon, A M O N, from which the word Amen comes from. In modern theology, faith is hope based knowledge. It is just a mental exercise, not attached to any real change. In the real behavior of a person. But in true biblical theology, faith is demonstrated by one who is so secure and firm in what he understands as truth that he practices and he exercises it every day. In James 2 verse 18, James says, But someone will say, You have faith, I have deeds. Show me your faith without deeds. I will show you my faith by my deeds. What James is trying to do is to differentiate the Greek understanding and the Hebraic understanding of faith. By that verse, we could understand true faith is evidenced by works. True faith is evidenced by work. People with true faith will practice the word of God. True pe I mean, people with true faith will practice the word of God. In Ecclesiastes 11 verse 1, Solomon says, Cast your bread upon the waters, for you will find it after many days. Some translation says, Ship your grain across the sea. After many days you may receive a return. That's a wonderful verse. We can understand how faith has been practiced. Cast your bread upon the waters. The word cast in Hebrew is shalach, S H A L A C H, which means to send, to let go. If you read in 1 Kings chapter 10, uh, the Bible says Solomon had many ships. He was not only a great king, he was a great merchant as well. By faith, what he does is they send grains in the sea. Maybe if he has five ships or six ships, they would send the grains in the sea to the other countries for merchandising in the midst of the storms, hoping that the ships will bring back 30 fold or 60 fold or 100 fold Solomon sends that ship in the straps that's what he says cast your bread upon waters or ship your grain your grain what you have it for today don't eat it by faith sow it if you are in a business invest it if you are in the ministry you know invest the word of God I mean if you are in a family you know Invest your prayer. Whatever you have it with you, invest it. Send it. Even in the midst of storms. Verse 2, Ecclesiastes 11 verse 2, the Bible says, But divide your investments among many places, for you do not know what risks might lie ahead. Yes, we are living in the world of uncertainties. We men are ignorant of future. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. But we are 
the children of God. We have faith in us. Never allow your ignorant about tomorrow you to be careless and be paralyzed. Send, believe, ship your grain across the sea. Let God see your faith is working. Verse three, you say, Solomon says, if clouds are full of water, they pour rain on the earth. Whether a tree falls to the south or to the north, in the place where it falls, there it lies. What does he say? He says, you cannot control certain things around you. Clouds, he says, he's talking about clouds that's full of water. A farmer is taking some grains, is going to sow in the field. But when he looks up, he sees the clouds, the dark clouds. But what does he do? He doesn't see the clouds. Simply he sows by faith. I tell you, clouds always changes. Even if it remains above you, don't worry about it. I tell you, your situation, one day it will change. It is not going to remain same every day. Keep sowing. Show your faith by deeds. Keep sending, keep sowing, keep doing, keep praying, keep fasting. Follow the Spirit of God who is speaking inside. Also, Solomon talks about the trees that was fallen on the road. He says, whether a tree falls to the south or to the north, in the place where it falls, there it will lie. Yes. There he says, he's, he's talking about the past experiences past failures, the trees that has been fallen on the road, on the way, those are our past failures. Yes, they always come and stand before us. You cannot change it. But today the Spirit of God is speaking to you. Don't fix your eyes upon the past experiences. Don't fix your eyes upon the fallen trees which is there before you, which is discouraging. Fix your eyes upon Jesus, not on the clouds, not on the fallen trees. Send your grace. Let God see your faith. Don't sit and watch for the right time to sow, to do something. Today is the right day to practice your faith. Faith with deeds is very, very important. Again, I want to say true faith is evidenced by works. May God bless you. Shalom.